guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Boston and I am a concert photographer based in Los Angeles. And today we are actually going to start a series where I talk about all the things that you need to do to become a concert photographer. And today's video is actually starting out with the things that you need to do and know before you even step into the pit. So let's get started. one is one that is very simple but often overlooked. Make sure that you get yourself a camera and you know how to use it before you get into the photo pit. Now there's a lot of people that buy a DSLR and don't know how to use it before they get into the pit. I've seen so many people struggle with their DSLR while they're in the pit. Don't show up to a concert to a gig and not know how to use your camera. When I started out, I had the Nikon D3200, which is what I have here. It is a very small little DSLR entry level, and this is a great camera for starting out. This got me through so many gigs before I even considered upgrading. And it has everything that I wanted in a camera where I could shoot raw, I could edit my photos. I knew that I could buy lenses that were better for the dark lighting. So a camera like this, even though they're starter cameras and they're cheaper, they work really well for concert photography. So make sure that if you get a camera like this, that you know how to use it. Make sure you know your modes, you know how to switch between settings, you know what f-stops mean and how they work. All of that knowledge is gonna help you so, so much when you're in the pit and you're trying to capture a shot beautifully before that moment goes away. So number one thing, practice with your camera, get a camera and know how to use it before you ever get into the pit. Also important and my second tip is to have a portfolio ready before you start reaching out to people. I have seen and heard of numerous photographers reach out to bands, publications, uh, the, their management, PR, whatever it is, to shoot when they don't have anything to show for their work. If you are a portrait photographer and you're trying to get into concert photography, you need to have something music related in your portfolio before you start reaching out to publications. I know a lot of portrait photographers that aren't necessarily good at shooting in low light and concert photography. It's just a completely different ball game. So make sure that you can show that you can do all of these things Make sure that what you want to shoot is highlighted in your portfolio. If you're just starting out and you don't have a portfolio, there are so many great options out there for free websites. You can have a .wix website or .squarespace, and those are perfectly fine when you are starting out and just building up your portfolio. Just make sure that you have a place where someone can go and see all of your work. And I highly recommend not using Instagram or a Facebook account. You will look more professional if you have a website in addition to your social media. So I would highly recommend, even if it's a free website, just put together a portfolio for all of your work and include your contact information. Okay, number three, reach out to friends and local venues and local bands before you start reaching out to these bigger name festivals and musicians. Now, when I started concert photography, I actually found a venue that I could pay for a ticket to get in and then I could photograph all of the bands that night. So I was going to free shows and shows that I was purchasing a ticket to see someone more famous that I could take those photos and add that to my portfolio. Don't expect someone to pay you right off the bat when you just started. I think that shooting for free when you first start is really, really important. The best thing for you to do is build relationships with these local bands and venues. 
Shooting for free and building those relationships is really important because most likely those people are going to be the people that come back to you for paid gigs in the future. And if you start with a band, as they get popular, you get to go with them. So it's a lot of fun to build these relationships, but it's also very important for your career. Also with shooting for free, I know a lot of people say that you should value your time and no one should ever work for free, but you can't expect to be paid for experience that you don't have. When you're trying to gain that experience and build your portfolio, that is the time that you work for free. That is when someone else has something that they can offer you that will be an asset for the future. I never complain about working for free because if there is something that I think benefits for me, I will trade with that person. So it's not necessarily free. We are both taking our time, our talent, our energy to work together on something that is mutually beneficial. For when you're starting out music photography, concert photography, you are giving a band, a local musician photos for free, but you are also getting those photos to use in your portfolio and you're also gaining experience that you need uh, to further your career. So it's very important to make sure that you're constantly out shooting, building that experience, building those relationships, and just continually learning and talking to people in the industry. The music industry is a lot about who you know. You get to work with people because someone recommended you or they're a friend of a friend or you just happen to meet them somewhere. So it's really important that wherever you go, you are networking, you are giving out business cards. I always recommend business cards just as a side note and special tip for you. But it's really important to just constantly engage with people in the industry. That's how you will make your work known and that's how you will get clients in the future. Okay, number four, before you get into the photo pit, you should have a general understanding of how to edit your photos and use Lightroom. It's really important that normally when you are in the photo pit and you're doing something for a publication or a band, you wanna have a fairly quick turnaround on your photos. So you wanna know how to edit and be able to give the band the publication photos in a reasonable timeline. So you're not just learning how to use the Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever editing tool you want, that you know what you're doing before you have a whole bunch of pictures that you need to edit. I know a lot of people that seem to think that you'll learn it along the way, and I get that. My editing style has grown and changed over the years, and I've definitely learned a lot through just the amount of editing that I've done. But it is really important that before you start getting into the pit, before you start having all of these photos that you've taken, that you know how to edit. You can find raw photos online. There's a lot of resources for you, including like Facebook groups, that you can take those photos and experiment with them and learn how to edit in your own style. Okay, last but not least, number five, the biggest tip before you step into a pit is to make friends in this industry. Now, I say this because this is something that I wish that I did because you will have so many questions along the way throughout your concert photography journey. You are already starting at a good place by looking on YouTube and searching for information, but if you can find local photographers that you can actually communicate with and ask them how they started and if they have any tips for your specific industry and your location, that will help you so, so much. There are a lot of Facebook groups also that are a great benefit for concert photographers out there. So you can start seeing what other people do, what they say about certain bands, what they say about locations and venues. You can find almost all the information you need online, but to have those personal relationships where you can talk to someone who has been in the same position that you're in is super, super helpful. 
and I started talking to people after I shot a few shows and I just had so many questions after struggling for a handful of shows. So if you can answer most of your questions up front and talk to someone who can tell you specifically about your location and what the venues are like and how to start in your area, that would be phenomenal. Also, those relationships are so good because those people can recommend you for gigs in the future if they can't cover them. There are so many photographers that I know that are amazing and I have befriended over the years and I now recommend them to my clients if I can't make a show. So having those connections can really help not only get you gigs but also get you the experience and education that you need when you're first starting out. So those are my first five tips of things that you need to know, be aware of before you get into a photo pit. So I'm gonna do a series of videos about what you need to know along each step of being a concert photographer. And this is just the beginning of that. I think that there are so many tips and tricks out there um, that'll kind of help you along the way. But this is kind of the stuff that you need to know and start practicing before you have that first gig where you are required to return something uh, to a band or a publication. So I hope this information helped you guys. If you have any specific questions, leave those in the comments below and I'll either address them there or in another video. I hope this helped and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye.